Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking about how I tie up my bedroll with the use of a tump line. So, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but I'm going to get the camera turned around and I'll show you how I do it. Alright, so, what I have here is my wool blanket, my, my bedroll unrolled. Okay, as, I, as you see I have my 100% white wool blanket here, uh, my nightcap, and I have a uh, ground cloth in here. Alright. Now what you want to do first is obviously fold this this blanket up to the right size uh, that you, how big you want your bedroll. So I, I fold this up to about a foot and a half wide here, and that's the perfect size for how big I want my bedroll, just like that. All right, now you're gonna take your tump line, and I'll show you my tump line real quick. All right, this is a, a jute twine tump line that I wove. It's about 17 and a half feet long. And as you see, this is the main shoulder portion, uh, which will be either going across your chest or over your shoulder. So you want this thick so it doesn't dig in. And I made this uh, just a straight, plain, natural color. And on either side of this main strap, of course, you have your your uh, tail ends. And I have I made this so that it has a, a solid, straight strap. And then at the end it cuts off into a scissor tail, right, for tying off uh, the straps after I've wrapped them around my bedroll. So I'll try to do this as fast as possible. But what you want to do is take your main strap, all right, and place it under the top of your bedroll, all right, where you're rolling from, all right? And then you take your tail ends and cross them over, okay? And when you do this, you want to you want to be careful with this because this will uh, determine how tight your strap is here on the underside. All right. So you want to give yourself enough room here and these tag ends or these tail ends right here, so that your strap is loose enough to go over your shoulder or whatever. All right. So now from here, after you've crossed these across, you can start rolling up your bedroll. All right, you're gonna roll them right over that. All right, brushing off your blanket because it's gonna be dirty. And as you see, the, the thick portion of the strap is gonna come up on top of the bedroll. It's gonna roll with it. All you need to do is just push that down, okay? Just like this. You're gonna do this all the way down to the end of your blanket. Alright, so there you go. Alright, now, your tail ends are going to be twisted around your main strap. All you need to do is just untwist them, pull them right through, and that's it. And now your main strap is going to be a little twisted as well. Just, all you need to do is untwist it, come over to this side, do the same thing, and it will come out flat. Alright just like this and now you can untwist and there you go now you have a nice flat uh, thing here nice flat strap alright so now what you want to do from here is as you see we have a tail end coming out of either side each side of your bedroll okay you're going to take each one of those straps and cross them again across the top of the bedroll. Now you're going to take one of these straps, cross it over the other, and bring it under the other strap. And pull down on that. It's basically the beginning of a square knot. Okay, just like that. And what that does is bring these up onto the top of the bedroll and allows me to start to wrap them around the, the sides of the bedroll. All right, so now that I have that here on top, I'll take one end and it will, it will bring it over here to the side so I can start wrapping. And that's all I'm gonna start doing, is just wrapping this 
pump line around the outside of the bedroll. Alright, put my knee on it, cinch it up really good and tight. And then here's where my tail ends come in, alright? I'm going to have one straight out here and pull one back. Wrap that one around, alright? And then just tie that off really good with a square knot. Just like that. Okay, so now that end is, is tied down. And we'll do the same with this end. Alright, so as you see here, we have our finished product. Um, it lays very nicely. I mean, as you see, here's our, our thick strap that we could put across our chest or over our shoulder. And you see, uh, this is the side that I showed you that I tied. Just a square knot right there. And I did the same exact thing with this side. Just wrapped it around twice with the main strap and then tied it off with my scissor tails. All right, very simple. I mean, this is a very, very tight, tight package. Uh, I mean, it just does a great job at wrapping it up. Very easy to adjust too with this. Uh, if you need to. So, there it is. And that's how I tie my bedroll with a tump line. Okay. So I just wanted to show you real quick how uh, I carry it on me. Alright. So there's two ways that are, are general, it's generally carried. You can obviously use uh, your tump line traditionally uh, and, and put it on your uh, forehead for carrying heavily loads. But this isn't really heavy. So generally we carry it either over our shoulder uh, and across our body or like this here um, over our chest, All right? Let's scooch it down. All right, you can carry it like this here over your, across your chest. You can still use your gun if you need to. All right, um, this is a really good tight way of doing it, just like that. But how I usually do it, is just like this here over my shoulder all right and that's a really good comfortable way you have complete freedom with your arms you can do whatever you want okay um and you see what that looks like all right that's how i do it um it, it's really easy um it does a great job so i, I definitely Tump line, uh, carrying your bedroll with a tump line is definitely my favorite way uh, to carry my gear. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I uh, was able to get everything into the into the camera's view. It's kind of hard to do when you're rolling it up and stuff. And I hope that I explained it well enough. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.